how the siberians crossed the frozen sea by cotton mather from magnelia christi americana published in seventeen hundred and two this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org perhaps my reader would gladly be informed how america came first to be peopled and if orneus's discourses de origine gentium americanarum do not satisfy him i hope shortly the most ingenious dr woodward in his natural history of the earth will do it in the meantime to stay thy stomach reader accept the account of a very sensible russian who had been an officer of prime note in siberia gave unto father averil said he quote, there is beyond the obi a great river called coena at the mouth whereof discharging itself into the frozen sea there stands a spacious island very well peopled and no less considerable for hunting an animal whose teeth are in great esteem the inhabitants go frequently upon the side of the frozen sea to hunt this monster and because it requires great labor with assiduity they carry their families usually along with them now it many times happens that being surprised by a thaw they are carried away i know not whither upon huge pieces of ice that break one off from another for my part i am persuaded that several of those hunters have been carried upon those floating pieces of ice to the most northern parts of america which is not far from that part of asia which juts out into the sea of tartary and that which confirms me in this opinion is this that the americans who habit that country which advances farthest toward that sea have the same physiognomy as those islanders thus the viote of smotensko End of how the Siberians crossed the frozen sea by Cotton Mather